Hello, bicycles. My name is Hatsusti, and welcome back to season 38 of my FTL series. FTL is uh, faster than light. Uh, it's a survival strategy space adventure race game uh, where you have to fight your way through uh, uh, seven sectors. Then the eighth one is the uh, big boss fight. And there are different races. Um, this here are Sultans, little green guys. Um, not from Mars, though. Uh, at least I don't think so. Um, they only have a health of 70, uh, which is not that much. So um, they take quite a beating uh, when they get into a fight. Uh, but on a plus sign, they power systems, as you can see here on the uh, yellow bars. But not all systems require power. For example, uh, piloting does not, but we require a pilot. So, Will here, we don't really make full use of his capabilities. Then this ship is the Sultan Cruiser Lay at Sea, which comes with the Sultan Shield, uh, which adds basically five uh, level of shield before the actual shield uh, has to take over. But enough talk, let's get a move on. As the uh, uh, sectors and the fights get progressively uh, harder, um, we have to uh, uh, deal with the, uh, the the possibility that we need to improve our ship. And the way to do this is uh, by uh, buying things, um, upgrades, weapons, um, and stuff like that and to do that we need scrap which is basically the uh, currency in this game and with each fight we get scrap uh, aside from some other goodies like uh, fuel and drone parts drone parts we need for the drones here uh, we can also get missiles um, which would be used in uh, missile based weapons and yep there we go first fight one and we only have two power of our own the rest is powered by um uh, by our sultans so maybe we should invest a bit in uh, uh, power right from the start so that we do not uh, struggle too much. Right. Um, we do have a, a battery here that we can use on top. Okay, that got their flag down, which is a good thing. And hopefully we can uh, uh, pull our way through before we are in deep trouble, like uh, out of oxygen there, jumping away or us taking real damage yes it was close but we managed so let's power oxygen again in order to not suffocate and repair the damage we have taken um, at this stage, I like to have full oxygen here because, as you uh, saw, we might juggle a bit with uh, our uh, powers to the different systems in order to have the necessary offensive power. So, 
so that we actually can win the fights. Right? And let's go to this nebula. All right, they do not have a shield, but they do have a cloak. So we should be good with only the beam. Yes. More scrap for us. Um, I think we will invest right away in power. And as you can see, the uh, rebel fleet is coming in here from the less pursuing us. But with Nebula Chumps, they only progress one third of their normal speed. So let's use that. Okay, we have intruders here. So, there will be a fight, but we do have a clone bay. So, uh, any crew member we lose, we can clone back. However, in the process, uh, they will lose a bit of their uh, experience. Um, but that's still better than um, losing a crew member. Okay, they damaged one system, but uh, we can repair that. And then we can be on our way. Let's go down here first. Automated ship once again without um, shield, so it's drone only. And we're making good progress. Yep, they are gone. More scrap, not too much, but now we have uncovered the uh, whole map for the sector. There is a store there. So this dress here. And in order to go to a store, you should have a bit of scrap. There's a pulsar, don't like pulsars. If we go to the store, we have to go through here. Well, we will see. All right. This one is a rock cruiser and uh, they have rock plating which uh, prevents some damage to the hull and only if the hull is done all the way um, the ship is gone. But even though we made quick progress of this ship here Ooh, another automated ship without uh, 
without the shield. That's good. I like that quite a lot. It makes life so much easier. And we get um, anti-ship beam drone. Not terribly useful. Another automated ship without shield, but uh, this one has cloaking. And I think we should be good. At least their uh, missile is already down. And this being automated ships, they are not that fast at repairing their systems. Okay. More scrap. And let's go down here. Where we find a flag gun, which is a great weapon. Yes, indeed. But let's go to the distress anyway. Um, pirate ship uh, trapped in an asteroid belt. Um, as we have a beam drone, we get this blue option here. So let's take it. Gives us a bit more scrap, I think. Usually the blue options are the ones to take. Not always, but most of the time. So what do we have here? Um, systems cloaking would be great, but a bit too expensive at this point. Weapon pre-igniter would also be great. Um, I mean, we can sell uh, the... This one and have the pre igniter. This one uh, will help us uh, when we go into a fight. All our weapons are already powered up, so basically, it's one free shot at the, at the start. So, let's go to this pulse arm and Hope for the best. Maybe we should have uh, uh, powered the, the flag before we jumped. So we could have made use of that. And they're gone. Nice, easy, and fast. All right, now let's wait for our FTL drive to come back online and for the systems to be in a good state for us to jump out. And then we go to the exit. where we find nothing, but we can decide on the next sector. Pirate controlled or abandoned sector, both are good, scrap wise. Uh, but seeing that abandoned sector has two uh, green ones next, I tend for the pirate controlled because this gives us the uh, option of the uh, hostile sector, which tend to be um, a bit better when it comes to uh, scrap. But we will see uh, in the next episode. Until then, 
Goodbye.